Well, I'm back and the project is complete. Thermostat controlled liquid oil filled space heater. I have a thermostat like this. This is the one hooked up to it. Now this is only temporarily wired temporarily wired. It will not stay like this. I'm going to either fasten this to the wall over here or somewhere along the lines of up there or down here. There's all the wire. 25 feet of thermostat wire. It's thick stuff too. Anyways, the box is over here. I re I'm pretty satisfied with it. Pretty happy. There it is. I'll unplug it. I can drag a little bit of wire over. Not a lot. Okay, let's see it out of the way. There it is. If I get myself a screwdriver, I will open it. Overall, I'm pretty satisfied with it. Box was five dollars at a Habitat for Humanity. Screws on latch. Got the outlet there to well the box. I had this outlet. Yeah, I'll leave that plugged in. So here we go. You got your contactor transformer and the thermostat wire come from thermostat into there. Um, if anybody ever wants to build these it's actually pretty quite simple. That's why I built it and it gives you much better control over your space here. Um, here's the transformer. It probably won't look like this. This is only temporary. Um, it's actually quite well, it's a little warm right now because it's been plugged in for a while. Probably shouldn't be that warm, but that's why I'm, it's only temporary. It's going to be replaced. Anyways, that drops it from 120 volts down to 25. Yes, it should be 24, but it doesn't make that big of a much big of a difference right now. It actually puts out about 28, 29 volts total, even though it says 25, but... Um, anyways, I got a, this is actually off a microwave, very heavy duty cord, well not, eh, I wouldn't say very, but good enough right now for this project. This will also be replaced, I just have to put this on here to make sure it worked, so, and I can use it for a little while, but it's 18 gauge, it comes in there. Down here splits off the uh, ground from it goes to a grounding post this box is very nice because it has grounding posts in every corner and then you got your white and your black leads and transformer or contactor actually and then you have your transformer power on these spade terminals and then that on the other side of the contactor you have your power going out to the outlet. This is 12 gauge wiring. This one is uh, hot and this one's a neutral. And they're going through that hole over there that is a um, connects right to this outlet box. And uh, that I found the e that's the easiest way to do it right now. If I want to extend the outlet down to the floor or mount the box on the wall, all I have to do is take the outlet off. And by unscrewing that screw right here and this, I just put a conduit or something down. But yeah, the outlet also comes in and grounds to that post. It's kind of hard to see because I don't have much light here, but... Um, 
So yeah, it's pretty much it. It's just power from the transformer goes through one wire to this side. Then this side goes to the thermostat, which I used a connector to connect from the smaller wire to the bigger wire so that I don't have to don't have to try to connect it to one of these bay terminals, which is not big enough. You, I mean, it'll be harder to do it that way, but this here's one of the terminals. It's on there pretty good, just the, the uh, plastic f comes off a little bit, but yeah, these are real nice. Just slips right over. And that's it. Transformer for a buck, contactor for five bucks, box for five. This is about 50 cents, the box right here with the plate. An outlet I had, the heater I had, thermostat wire, seven bucks. And the, micro, the power cord, which is a microwave cord, got free because I found that microwave in the trash. So. Yeah, it's, it seems to be holding up right now. It gets a little warm in here. I'm not sure if it's normal for this transformer to get around 90 degrees when it's running. 100 on the top of it. Don't really like that, but contactor buzzes a little bit. Not completely sure if that's normal. I think it is, but I'd like to know if someone could tell me if that's normal. That'd be really nice. And, uh, if it's supposed to, the coil's supposed to get a little warmer under there too, like 80 degrees. I mean, it never it never gets hot, but just a little concerned. But, um, yeah. So that's pretty much it. That's how it works. I guess I'll have to turn it on now. Plug it in and show you how it works. This is soon to be mounted on the wall or... Right now I just leave it over here on the floor, plug in this GFI, which is also in the wrong place. Okay, that looks good, it's plugged in the wall. I'm going to bring it over here a little bit. When I turn the thermostat on, you're going to hear it click. Well, and that's not it, but... I'm going to take the cover off and move the slider that way. There's mercury. Once it hits, goes from this side to that side, it'll fl uh, flip the contactor on. Or close it, whatever. Yeah, it messed up a little bit there. It is now running. Then when I flip the thermostat off, I'm going to see. It then shuts the heater off. Really simple design here. I need, I need, I'm gonna eventually get digital here. I don't like that mercury. <laughs> Sparks in there a little bit and it sometimes, just as you heard, it makes contactor switch off and on really quickly if it's not over the other side fast enough and all that. But yeah. Works good. Turn it off. Turn it off. Simple as that. One day I'll have the cooling hooked up, maybe with a contactor, another contactor, and not in the same box, but in different box, either by my window or controlling my fan over there. But yeah, that's it. It's it's complete. Um, I probably should unplug this real quick and...